Okay, so this is, you know, third time's a charm. Anyway, to my subscribers on YouTube, I'm making a tutorial series on how to make variation, variant textures in Fallout 3 and how to implement them without overriding any of the textures that are used by vanilla Fallout 3. Um, if you're interested in that kind of a thing, if you're a gamer, have Fallout 3 for PC, you want to make some new stuff to put in the game, then you can follow the tutorial set and I'll link to the first article in the underbar. Um, the first article is a basic introduction. Mind you, I'm using GIMP, so be aware of that. Um, anyway, so what you're looking at right now is my Fallout 3 directory. You want to have your texture that you've made into... This is, by the way, the second part of the series. This is actually how to put them in the game. Um, you want to have your own folder in the textures folder under the name of your mod. And in here I've got all my variants I've made. Right now we're actually focusing on this one. And I've only started working on the male version of this armor. And so this right here, I'm not sure why the metal armor is named this way, but this is the actual armor texture here. Um, I'll reiterate when opening this file in GIMP, you um, you have to have the DDS plugin. Uh, that's a, that's pretty straightforward. Um, it'll load up, and then it will ask you if you want to load MIP maps. You say no and hit OK because trying to save with MIP maps active causes some issues. Uh, Neil say it doesn't like it. So this is what I've got so far. It's not sized up like my other textures yet. And it's it it's not all that detailed yet. It's darker looking, but. For the most part, it's, it's different, and that's what we're going for. Anyway, so now I'll close that out. Anyway, other than GIMP to make your texture, following my tutorials, um, you will also need to have Fallout 3, obviously, and this wonderful program, the GEC. Um, pretty easy to find. Um, anyway, so t what you want to do is, if you already have a mod you've made and you want to introduce something, then you need to open up data and find your mod. This is my mod here. Now I'm going to set it as active. Now what they what setting it as active does is it makes it so you're when you put edits on the files you're actually editing that plugin right there. The active one. Um, if, it, if no file set it active when you go to save it'll ask what the name of the new plugin is. Um, but for simplicity's sake for this tutorial eh, no I'll just you guys are probably going to be making new plugins anyway, so I'll just leave it non-active. And you hit OK. This is the part that it'll ask you, you know, you have not set a file as the active file, do you wish to continue? You hit yes. Now, the thing is here is the GEC takes forever and a day to load. It's painfully slow, no matter what. I've got some decent specs on my machine. I've got a 1 gig vid card, I've got 6 gigs of RAM, I've got a 3.2 dual core gigahertz processor it's not a bad computer but it still takes forever and it will look like it freezes it'll say it's not responsive things like that um, don't worry about that it just that's what it does see everything's loaded up so what we'll do is first and foremost we need to set up the texture set so you go to miscellaneous right here in this window then you click on texture sets. Now I will find my texture sets that I've done by filtering out DWC. Whenever you add something for your mod, put an abbreviation for the name of your particular item right here. Uh, your particular mod right here. That way, it you know, it people can find it in the GEC if they want to tweak it for themselves or are using it in a mod and you've given them permission, whatever. So we'll just open this one since it's a male version of the uh, one of the combat armor variants, and we will rename it. For my for the sake of mine, I'm going to rename it Raider Metal. Whoop, no space. Never space and form IDs. Ever. It's bad. Um, so anyway, now what we do is we click down here so you have the diffuse one. Diffuse is the actual texture itself. So then you go, you navigate. If you're not already there, you navigate to the folder that your texture is in, and then you load in the actual texture. Now the other file you saw there with the underscore n is the normal map. Right now this texture 
is was originally using the combat armor normal map, but we can't have that because otherwise it'll cause some funky things. So we go to edit, and this is the normal map for the metal armor. Now, when you extract resources from BSAs, I'll go over this more in detail. You may want to also use the normal maps for the item in question, and maybe even the meshes, because people could be using replacers, and that can really mess things up for you. So then we do that, and you see they're very similar, but one is purpley and blue and all that good jazz. Anyway, so then you hit OK. Now, since I've changed the form ID, it'll ask if I want to create a new form. I hit yes. Okay, now note it is now right here. So what we do after that is we minimize that and we get rid of the filter and we go to items, armor in this instance because we're doing armor. Now find the metal armor, it just makes it a lot easier and you double click that, the basic metal armor, not the unique metal armor, the basic metal armor. And you change the ID. Now remember to put your mods abbreviated name in front, so DWC, and we just go Raider Metal. I'm going to leave the name the same for my mod. You can change it to whatever you want. Me, I'm going for visual variants and nothing else right now, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Say with everything else. You can tweak with this stuff as much as you want, but be aware you might make a god item and well, that might irritate people. Anyway, so you, I, since we're since we made a bail texture, we're gonna use we're gonna edit this slide here. So you click edit. And I'll bring this up. This is the basic metal armor texture on the basic metal armor with the basic metal armor normal map. We're using the same normal map, but for just the only reason I'm using a normal map in a different path is just in case other people are using this mod, use a different normal map. So. We double click arms and then we click here and whatever the first letter of the form ID for the texture that you had is, you hit that letter. Mine is D, so I hit D. Then I scroll down and here's all my textures, my texture sets that I set up. So here's Raider Metal M. And then we do the same for uh, Pit Boy On. And then we do the same for Pit Boy Off. You won't see a whole lot of difference right off, but as you go through the list, you will. And occasionally, they'll be ordered differently, so you'll see upper body ahead, above everything else. And this is where you see the biggest difference is when you change the upper body. So DWC Raider Metal Armor, ta-da, bam! There's my texture on the original metal armor body. So it's got the same normal map, everything else, just different colors. And then you hit OK. And then you want the world model to have the same follow the same color set. So you open up the world model, double click the only thing there, go down to your file, which is right here. And then there we go. Now when you drop in the game world, it has the same color scheme. Now I don't have a female version, otherwise it's the same procedure for the female version up here, just you don't have to mess with either of these. And in this case, you don't even have to mess with this. So then you hit OK, and it'll ask if you want to create a new form, and you hit OK. And then you go to file, save, and I'll just blah, 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 it don't matter. And so I'm not really saving, you would save, but I'm not saving because I'm not done with that yet. So then you close out, and I'm going to say no. Um, it'll take a little while to close out, take some time to unload. Anyway, I will be making some more tutorials, mainly on like extracting BSA files, things like that. I hope this was helpful. Uh, next one is kind of a supplemental tutorial and it will be covering the BSA files how to extract specific resources where to extract them to also a structure and where things need to be in the data folder for them to show up properly in your mods um, after that I will be moving on to adding said variant to item lists so that they will show up in the game on characters in shops all that good jazz anyway this is Sephiroth from the from the Nexus forums, or Mr. T3, whichever you prefer. You guys take it easy.